Hey everybody, it's Stacy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be filming in my Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner for the week of March 26th to April 1st. And I'm going to be using this kit from my shop. It is called Hello Spring and it's just a very nice like Easter spring kit. I wanted to use this because obviously this is the week of Easter and I'm going to be using another Easter kit for my Carpe Diem planner and I just I'm very excited because I like Easter. So we have our full boxes here. I think they're so pretty with the purple. We have our ombre heart checklist and our flags. Bottom washi, washi strips and sidebar cover, or sorry, weekly bar trackers. Date covers, headers for the sidebar, headers and icons. Little things we can banner, script and bill dues and habit trackers. Half boxes, quarter boxes, flag boxes, arrows, and canceled. So I'm super excited to use this kit. I'm just gonna start with my bottom washi like I always do. And, oh, sorry. It is so, so pretty. Like look at these flowers and these bows. I love it. So I'm just gonna line this up here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have decided to reformat my kits. So I have reformatted one so far for my Erin Condren, but it the A5 for Carpe Diem and the Happy Planner kits will be coming as well. I just haven't done that yet. I'm gonna move to my sidebar now. So I haven't done the, the other kits yet, but they are going to be coming. And I am so excited for the reformatting, you guys. So when I started my shop, oh, I was just trying to like make sure I included everything that I wanted and tried to put it in every, everybody's place as much as possible. But as being open, you learn that it's like, for designing wise, it's best to have certain things in certain orders so it's just easier to create kits. So I'm very excited for the reformat. I think it's gonna look so much more appealing to the eyes as well. And yeah, I'm very excited. So, so I'm just put my quilt box at the top there. And then I'm just going to do my washi strips with my habit trackers like usual. So if you want to stay up to date on new releases and you want to see other kits that I come up with and different like, um, sorry, what am I trying to say? Uh, different like sales and stuff that I have going on then follow me on Instagram because I always post them on there. And then I'm gonna do my have or so my hydrate sticker. So I have these two sheets for my shop here. They come in brights and pastels, and they're the weekly hydrate stickers for the sidebar. And should I do the purple or the yellow? I'm not sure. I'm thinking the yellow might be good. Yeah, let's do the yellow. Do the hydrate sticker. And then down here, I'm going to do a to clean header. Because I'm trying to get ready for my spring cleaning challenge. And I'm trying to like get ahead. So I was going to do a to clean header. And then... I'm going to use an ombre heart checklist and I'm just trying to see if I can get a full one. Oops. Oh yeah, perfect. Or should I do, no, sorry, oh come on, come on, let's put instead 
a weekly bar so I can track it by the days. So I'll put this purple weekly bar down here. There. So that's going to be my sidebar for this week. We're going to jump in the day to day. So for Monday, as always, the first thing I always put is my cleaning day. So I'm going to use a half box to mark that. And I got these new, I made these new cleaning stickers. And they're just a bunch of like icons and then scripts. So they have script clean and then script laundry. And they just in different colors. You can get this in pastels or brights. I just printed it in pastels for now, but I thought that this little like cleaning bucket and then I'm going to use one of these script words. Let's do this guy. There. Should I put this guy on top? Like that. Oh, that's so cute. I like that so much better than my own writing. Okay, so that's my cleaning day. Also on Monday, I want to set up my spring cleaning challenge. So I'm going to take a quarter box and let's take. Uh, this little like computer icon to mark that I want to set up that challenge and then I'm gonna do a full box let's do this guy and I can do my to-do list right away so then I'm gonna use the light purple to-do header and then the green checklist and I'm going to cut it down to three there we go uh, also on Monday I want to clean my sheets so let's do a flag this one here and I'll put it on this side and let's see here okay I don't have any clean the sheets stickers printed so I'm gonna take these cleaning stickers again and I'm going to do the laundry one and let's do this guy there we go and then I'll just know I need to clean my sheets and on Monday I want to go to the gym so let's take Take some of these arrows, the yellow ones, and I have these workout stickers from my shop. I need to print more because I'm running out. Um, let's do this purple weight. Um, I feel like the arrow's so far away. There, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, then I can mark that I work, gonna work out. So that is Monday. Oh, I like how this is turning out so far. So cute. Okay, so Tuesday, usually my daughter has preschool, but she is on spring break. So I usually mark her preschool at the top but I'm gonna do no school instead just because she's only in school for two days I don't want to like put spring break across so I am gonna put a washi strip there and uh, 
I pulled these school event stickers from my shop and they have the no school stickers at the bottom. So I'm gonna use those to mark no school. On Tuesday is also gonna be a work day for me. So let's do an arrow. Let's do this purple guy. And then I'm gonna use the work script stickers from my shop in black. There we go. And then I'm gonna do a to-do list. So I'm gonna do the dark purple header and the light purple checklist, but I'm gonna cut it down. Tuesday is also my cousin's birthday, so I'm going to take a half box for that. Let's do this one. And then I'm going to take the balloons from the kit, these guys here, and mark that it is her birthday. And it is also a Bible study, so let's do my a full box first. Um, do, let's do this green one. And our friends have just decided to start doing a Bible study. So I'm going to take... Um, I was going to take this book icon here from the kit and maybe I'll just do these purple flags and I'll just write in Bible study and that's Tuesday. Uh, for Wednesday I'm going to start with a full box and let's do this polka dot one. And then my to-do list, I'm going to use a yellow to-do header. And then the dark purple checklist. There we go. So Wednesday I have a build you. So we're going to use the, let's do the purple to build you sticker. And I wanted to go grocery shopping. So let's do the green quarter box. And then I'm going to use the grocery shopping stickers from my shop. these guys and just put it in there. I go grocery shopping every Wednesday. And the last thing I want to put in here is that I want to work out. So let's take this dumbbell from the kit and a flag. We'll do the yellow guy. Just like that. Cute. So that is all I know for Wednesday so far. I'm going to leave it open just because I probably will add stuff into it. So this is the first half of the week. I think it's so cute. I love these colors together. Very, very cute. Okay, let's move on to the second half. So Thursday, again, I'm going to put this washi strip at the top and put one of those no school stickers on. Here they are. Oops. There we go. So Thursday is also going to be another work day. So let's do another flag. 
And then I'm going to use the work script sticker again from my shop. There we go. And on Thursday, I also have a planner club meeting. So let's take this corner box here. And to mark that, um, I usually like to mark like all the planner club stuff with this box. So I'll just put that in there. And then we'll do the full box. Let's do the butterfly. And then my to-do list, we're going to use the green to-do header. And the yellow checklist. And again, I'm just going to cut this down to three. There we go. And I don't know anything else for Thursday so far. It's usually like my crazy busy day for trying to get stuff done for new releases. So I think that's what it'll be like basically all just work. Uh, for Friday, it is Good Friday. So let's do a half box to mark that. We'll do the purple. And then I'm gonna use these holidays stickers for my shop and I just have the Canadian holidays printed. It also comes in the US holidays as well. Oh, this is super crooked. There we go. So we should have Happy Good Friday. And I'll just put that in here. Cute. I like that a lot. So Friday is going to be a bit of a busier day. It is my recycling day. So I'll mark that first using these arrows. And then I like to use the Recycle, Compost, and Garbage Day stickers. And what did I say it was? Recycling. So the blue one. There we go. And let's do my to-do list next. So I'm gonna do the light purple to-do header. And the, what did I do? The green one? Sorry. The green checklist. And we have a gathering that day in the evening. So I'm gonna take this half box for that. And maybe I'll use the heart. It's the Easter gathering for my side of the family. And I'm gonna put my full box at the bottom. Let's do these Easter egg ones. So cute. Also, I wanted to mark that it was, um, sorry, that I want to bake because I got to do some stuff for the gathering. So let's do this dark purple quarter box. And then I'm going to use the bake stickers from my shop. Here they are. Just put that down there. And I wanted to mark at the very bottom here that it is three months till my birthday. So I have these birthday countdown stickers in my shop. And I'm just gonna put the three months. It has six months, three months, two months, and then uh, the days, and then happy birthday. So, super cute. And I think that's all that I'm going to put in this planner. I'll put the rest in my Carpe Diem. So for Saturday, I'm going to put some 
Um, you know, I'm just going to do the uh, weekend banner, I think. Um, just indecisive. Let's do... Let's do the full boxes in the middle. Just doing something different. And then let's do... Let's do this washi strips on top. And then we'll do the weekend banner across there. There, that's really cute. I like that. Okay. Um, for Saturday, I wanted to make sure that I film on this day just because Friday's going to be really busy. So I'm going to try and get my filming done on the Saturday. So I have these filming tracking stickers from my shop and should we use the yellow just because I don't know how often I'm going to use yellow. It's not the exact same but I'm okay with it. So we'll put that right at the top on Saturday and I also wanted to go to the gym on this day so let's do... Okay, let's do the light purple scale, and then I'm going to use the dark purple script for workout. And I really need to print some more of these because I'm running low on the color choices. Um, so I have workout and film, and then I'm going to put my to-do list at the bottom. So let's do the dark purple header and the light purple checklist. And this is all I'm going to put down for Saturday because I don't really have a lot of plans yet, but I'm sure that will change. And Sunday I'm going to mark, okay, let's mark first that it is Easter with a half box at the top. And I'm going to use again these holiday stickers. So I'm going to put Happy Easter. Oh Ooh, dear. I always find script stickers are very hard to place straight. Does anybody else have that problem? I always like struggle with script stickers. Okay, so we have Happy Easter on here, but it is also April Fool's Day. So let's do the green half box. I know it's gonna look crazy, but I just wanted them together. And then we'll do uh, April Fools. Oh, right here, April Fools Day. There. Uh, also on Sunday I have a bill due, so I'm gonna take the yellow bill due sticker here. have another gathering on this day. So I'm going to take this quarter box and let's do let's do the little car because we have to drive there. And we also have to want to go to church. So I'm going to take the church script stickers from my shop and Let's do, let's do the purple. There we go. Um, 
And that's all I wanted to mark for Sunday, but I also wanted to add my piggy bank sticker. It is week 13 of the 52 week savings challenge. So I just always put that on Sunday in the corner because I just always deposit that money into the savings on Sunday. And that is that. Wow. Okay. So let's open this bad boy up. And wow, I love it. It's so pretty. So pretty. I'm going to use this laundry sticker icon for my habit tracker here. And that is that. So now I'm going to go in and put in my date covers. We have these these really pretty ones in the kit. And then I'm gonna pick some flags. I'm probably gonna do these two guys and I will be right back. All right, everybody, so I am back now. I have put the date covers on and the flags on and I filled everything in. I used my Tombow calligraphy pen like I always do. And I just wanna note that I also changed the workout sticker. I put the sticker up in my to-do list and took away the arrows and put this film tracking sticker on because I remembered that I'm only gonna film one video today and I'm gonna do the rest on Monday. And then I also added, I changed out this computer sticker for that purple computer icon sticker that I had just because I think this one is cuter. And that is everything. So I hope you guys liked this um, spread. I think it's so, so pretty. I'm gonna show you what last week's look like right now. So it's currently Saturday and I think this is beautiful. So, so happy with it. Very proud. I love the colors. I think it's so pretty. And I also want to show you what's left in my kit. So I have no full boxes. I have a bunch of headers and some icons that I usually use up throughout my week. Like I'll put this um, nail polish sticker on Friday just go like that stuff like that i always use the the functional stuff as the week goes on we have some icons and some headers a couple of the checklists did i forget checklists oh on sunday oh well and a flag some washi strips and a weekly bar some half boxes quarter boxes and the cancelled so I think this turned out so, so cute. I hope you guys liked it as well. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Leave any comments or questions you have down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.